Now once you have created your WordPress blog inside of Fantastico, you can either have your address bookmarked and you can go there. I'm still inside Fantastico, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on this. And it takes me to my admin for my WordPress blog. Now it gives me my username and password. I'm going to go ahead and put those in. I'll log in. And if you notice, this is all located on, on my site. I'm not going to an external site to do this. It's all found on my site. Now, the way this works, this comes off when you first open it, it may appear pretty complex. But it's actually pretty simple once you get used to it. First of all, if I wanted to write a blog, write a post, I can just start right now. I click on Write. And I can put in my first post. My title goes up here, my post comes down here. And you can look, there's different icons that will allow you to change different parts of your blog. So maybe I want to have maybe part of it bold, part of italic. You can also spell check it, which is really nice. So there's lots of different features that you can do. If you're handy with HTML, you can also change the tab over here to HTML, and you can write it inside of HTML. I'm going to click back on the Visual tab. Now I can go through, and I can add different tags. Now this is good to help it with uh, making it more search engine optimized, so that way more people can find it. You can also create categories. Maybe your blogs talk about different things and you want them categorized. You can create categories simply by clicking on add new category and you give it a new category and then you click add. I'm not going to do that in this stage though. There are other things you can do. Uh, excerpt, you can have a brief excerpt of your blog so that way when it sends out to a blog feed or a blog roll you can have a summary of what your blog talks about. Trackbacks, what this does is it allows you to um, it allows you to see who, who's linked in to you um, and lets other people see when you change things. Uh, custom fields, we'll go through this one in a few minutes. This allows you to create more specific things uh, for your own personal interactivity. Comments and pings, you can allow comments. That means people can log in and they can leave comments on the post that you make. This is actually a good way for interaction. Maybe you're commenting on education in America and you want to hear what other people have to say about it. This is a great place uh, to, to open up a form of discussion. Or maybe you want your post to be private. You can set a password so that people have to use a password to be able to see it. Maybe you're creating your blog for just a personal journal and you want you to be the only one to see it. You can set a password so that can happen. Now all of that, if we wanted to see what our posts look like, we can just click on preview this post and it shows us what it looks like. And it has the title of our website and it just shows us our blog, how everything looks. And somebody can submit a comment. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out of this tab. If you notice when I opened it, it opened up in a new tab, not a new window. That's a feature uh, by default inside of Firefox. Let me go ahead and close this tab. And I don't want to post right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the design or the theme of this of my blog before I start posting. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to delete this. I could click on save and not publish it and just save it for right now. But I just want to delete it. Actually, I will do that. No, I'll just keep it how it is. I'm just going to delete this. I'm going to go ahead and that's just how to post. Now page underneath right, let me just show you this one for a second. And then, first of all, if, if you edit something on this page and you navigate away from it, if you don't click save on the pages, it doesn't save it. You have to always save your work. That's the way that the PHP works. That's the code that's used that drives this. So I'm going to navigate over to page. Now page, it looks the same. But what page does is it allows me to create a specific web page, not just a post. 
So for right now, we're not going to go too much into it, but that's something if it if it, you get curious, you can go through and explore that. Link. Link is a great place where you can link to other sites, and you just put in the name of a link, the address, the description, and so you can just have lots of links. Maybe you want to link to your friends' blogs, and here it just has different um, examples. So you can do that. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on Manage, the second tab over. Now Manage lets you edit your posts, your pages, your categories. So here, if you wanted to put in lots of categories, you could do that. Tags, you can put in different tags. You can see what tags you've created for your uh, blog. Different link categories. Media library, you can upload different uh, pictures or images, sounds. You can upload media, store it there. So when you use it in your blogs, you have it there. Now, import and export. Let's say that you use other blog systems. You can import your blogs that you've created on other blog systems by using one of these clicks here. You can also export this blog to other blog systems. I'm just going through this quickly so you can see roughly what everything does. Now design, this is where we're going to come back to in just a second. Design is where you can change how it's viewed and how it's seen. Uh, there are many different themes that you can use to change what it looks like um, and how it functions and how your blog works. We're going to go through this in just a minute, so I'm going to skip back over to comments. Now comments, this is a really good one because what it is, is when people leave comments on your thing, sometimes people try to put spam where they put ads on theirs, uh, on their comment just to get people to go to a website. And you can come in here and you can approve or you can unapprove or you can delete comments that come. Um, you can have moderation, which means you have to look at them. You can change different settings that will allow you to change how you go through and, and change your comments. Now over here on the right are settings. And this one you can put what your blog title is, give it a tagline. And then right here it has your WordPress address URL and blog address URL. I don't recommend changing these because I did that last time and it wiped out all of my WordPress. So I recommend leaving these two the WordPress address and the blog address the same. You can change the other things. You can also choose membership, uh, who can be a part of your blog, your time zone, your date format, when the week starts. The next one, plugins. Plugins are great. They allow you to do more things than what WordPress has. It has a lot of different plugins um, that you can get a lot more to do different things. And we'll go through this in just a minute. Um, but here you can see one plugin. This checks your comments to make sure that they aren't spam and it kind of weeds them out. So that's a good one. And then users. Now the users tab, you can put in a couple of different users in here. Maybe you have a whole family post to, to one blog. You can change people, maybe it's just an editor, somebody who can just change things, somebody who just writes things, somebody who just contributes, maybe it's just a subscriber, or an administrator who can do all of the things. You can put in somebody's name as well as their uh, email address. And so you can change all the different options. So that's a pretty nice feature. Now that's just a real quick overview of your interface for writing and posting blogs. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to change your design and start enhancing your blog and customizing it to your personality.